girl P. And Mama Bree. And we are back with another mother daughter video, guys. And as you can tell, we have lots of things to try. A whole bunch of ramen noodles to try. Yes, yeah, so this video was sponsored by Japan Ramen Box. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them before, but they specialize in all ramen noodles from Japan. 7-Eleven um, in Japan, they're really popular for their different ramen noodles, and we have some of those here. Uh, we have six different noodles total that we're going to be tasting and trying. Um, so if you guys are interested in trying this as well, their link will be in the description below. Um, you guys will get a percent off by clicking the link and using my code. And um, yeah, check them out. Go to their Instagram. Go to their Facebook. See what they're about. Mama Bree has a list of everything we have on the table. But before we get into this video, y'all already know, give this video a thumbs up. Or as Mama Bree said, give it two thumbs up. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and don't forget to check out the Epic Empire. Their links will be in the description below. So let's go ahead and get right into the video, Mama Bree. All right, you guys. All right, now, the names of these noodles, it's very difficult. Very difficult. But Mama Bree gonna try her best to pronounce these noodles. The first one we're gonna try is called Aipudu Akumaru Tankusu. Which is this bowl. a pork-based soup. A pork-based soup. And I'll have a close-up of some of these as I'm preparing them. So I'm going to give this a stir. Oh, sorry guys. It smells good. Yeah, the noodles look good. It smells good. I should probably be recording a close-up. Last, I think I need you so they can see each one. That smells good. Sorry, Les. You might want to... So, Aipudu Akumaru or at the Tankusu end, pork base ramen noodles. All right, guys. So I mixed it up pretty good. Also, y'all, this one has a piece of bacon pork in it, like a whole piece of pork. So you will see that here. All right. So, Marbury, this is your fork. Um, we're gonna say our grace, Father God, bless all this food, bless, bless the ones that prepare, let it be nurturing to our body. In your name, we pray, Amen. So, I like to. Oh God, I had <laughs> I had to ask God a few more things in my prayer, honey, because you know you people gotta be careful eating stuff. Mama Bree is so scary. I am. I wanted her to do this with me because I know that she's not as adventurous. So this one here is a broth-based oh, ramen. This is broth based, so you know I'm gonna try the broth and the noodle. Gotta try it all. Mm-hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. I have to slide it by me so it won't drip. It's not bad. But you know honestly, a lot of these ramen noodles taste the same. The broth is good. It's thick. Mm-hmm. Just that broth. That's good. Yeah, this one is good. It's more like a soup. The broth is nice and thick. It's mm, really that's good. That is really good. This one, I would definitely, if I saw this again, I would get it. That's good. I'll probably put a little bit more water in it just that bowl won't be as, you know, salty. But Mm-hmm. That was a good one. I'll eat that again. That's yeah, good. That was good. So we thumbs that one up. The next one we're going to try is called Toyama Black Ramen. Toyama Black Ramen. And please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing these ramen noodles correctly, but I'm doing the best that I can. So this one looks like it's more of a soy, soy based, soy mm. sauce based one. So if you can see those, this is how they look. I'm sorry guys. Mm, nice and hot. All right, so I'm gonna let Mama retaste them first. So what, what does it say about this one? It's, it's, it's hailing from the Toyama Prefecture of Japan. Toyama Black Ramen is true to its name. It's, it's actually black. The strong is. pepper taste is sure to fill every available space in your mouth. And make you want to take another bite to prolong the flavor adventure. Mm. If you can handle a bit of spicy ramen, you'll enjoy slurping these special ramen straight from Japan. Alrighty. Alright, let's see. They look like they 
nice and black pepper for sure. I wonder if it tastes like the black bean noodle. A little spicy. Mm. I don't taste them. Good though. I was expecting her to be like, uh uh. Good. And not too spicy. Not overbearing. Very manageable. As long as you know, I don't like that hot that you can't enjoy your food, but that's not bad. Definitely tastes black pepper. Mm -hmm. It's good. Y'all. Yeah. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like that. Very peppery. We're going to just move on here. The next one we have is Asikuk Chakusaba. Uh, y'all, not Asikuk Chakusaba. Okay, y'all, a little bit about this noodle. When I first put it in here, it was a piece of pepperoni on top or a piece of salami or something. Mm hmm. But it, um,. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna like this one. Let me taste it. I'll be the first one to taste that. Mix it up good, because I didn't mix it. I just... The noodles are a little thicker, like a little wider, like a flat, wide noodle. Mm. What? Your face lit up, girl. Mm. Look at Mama Bree eating ramen. Mm. It's a good one? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm you scared to try the little pork piece? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Well, you gotta taste the broth. Delicious. <laughs> Mama bring my bed for third, y'all. Delicious. Yeah, that one was pretty tasty. My mama says a lot of the time ramen noodles taste the same, but these right here have given us all different type of different vibes. I mean, we got our pepper, we got our pork, we got our what is this one? I don't know. What you got to highlight the thing back? Mm -hmm. Bone. What's what's this one based? AC cool. Okay, don't worry about flavors and seasons with this ramen. Yes, they've already added the garlic, the ginger. Mmm. Mmm. To make this broth a delightful and and filling. This broth is both delightful and filling for those who eat this ramen every day in Japan. That one good, y'all. Mm. I used to cook chakusaba. Chakusaba. Okay. The next one. The yellow pack. Okay. This is a little eggy. Mmm. I'm going to mess this name up for real. Oh, yeah. Muka Shinagara no Shio Ramen. It sounds really pretty Japan, doesn't it? <laughs> Muka Shinagara. Pretty, pretty Japan. Um, I think this is a soup based noodle as well. We have a little bit of broth in this one. This noodle just looks really clean. It doesn't look like it has any like onions or anything in it. What is this saying about it though? Is they it aren't fried in order to be dehydrated it, and has a, a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a fried instant ramen. Oh, okay. I have to get, eat it up close to me. Gee, Prissy P. Our thumbnail. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's pretty standard. This one is light. Yeah. And it puts me in the mind of that one and we buy mm -hmm. at, at Win Dixie. And when Dixie. <laughs> that's why I said this is kind of standard. Yeah, that's standard. But the flavor is good. It's like a uh, that's this um, one. a chicken eggy taste. I like it. That's the one right there. It's very light. Very light. Very light. The next one is the Sharumura. 
Tonkutsu, Shamaru, Shamura, Takutsu. Y'all, I don't know. I'm scared to try this one. This is a pork based soup. The noodles were different. Mm hmm. Put the seasoning in already, too? Yeah. Mm, that's a real clear base. That's what I said. It, was, it had more fluid in it. Let's get a good thumbnail this time. All right, you ready? Mm mm. Mm, good. I was scared to try this one. Garlicky? Mm hmm. Very garlicky. It's good, though. It's good. It's garlicky, though. It is garlicky. I'll taste these again. Mm hmm. Y'all like those. Mm. And the last ones, last but not least, <clears throat> Is Makushanagara no miso ramen. Makushanagara. I know I'm just messing up these things. Anyway, this is this is a mixture of red and white miso. We like miso soup, and it has onions, cabbage, and other seasonings to enhance the tonkutsu. And miso flavors. All right, this time I'm. At this ramen is the epitome of what true, authentic, traditional Japanese instant ramen is supposed to taste like. All right, you guys, let's see. Let's see. It's the place to be. Let's get it in. Mmm. 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 Nice, clean. It was like a little. See the difference with with, with these that I think there's not a lot of um that um. Mm. These taste more. They don't have a lot of um, star a starchy taste. They're they're actually cleaner. That tastes good. I like this one because it kind of put me in the mind of like a little bit of oyster um sauce with a little bit of sugar, a little bit of <clears throat> pork flavor, a little mm -hmm. bit of garlic. Mm -hmm. Y'all. All right, this, wow, let me have a little bit more. This, the, this ramen is the epitome of what true authentic traditional Japanese mm. instant ramen is supposed to taste like. Oh my God. I like those. So, we're gonna line them all back up and then we're gonna rate these what we think is the best and not so best, etc. All right. All right, guys. So, our first noodle was the red bowl. Um, my re okay for me from a scale of one to ten, I would have to give this one a five. The first one. Okay, I would give that one. I would give it a seven. Yeah. This one right here was it was pretty good. It wasn't. It scared me. I saw a little piece of pork in it, but other than that, the flavor was good. The onions. This one was a 7-Eleven gold one as well. And this one right here was pretty good too. All right. All right. The second one was this one, the black pepper noodle. What'd you give it? One to ten? I'd probably give that one a six. Yeah. I'm right there, Mama Brie. Like five and a half, six for sure. Because after a while eating too much black pepper flavor, it would kind of get a little boring to me. So that's what I would rate this one. This little baby cup, charming. I would give this one a ten. Me too. Because I'll eat this again if, it, if they sold it here. I basically want that for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, this right here is a ten. So if you guys, yeah. if you order this ramen box, make sure you get this one and everything. I'll have links up close, like pictures up close and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So then, what else did we try after that? We tried the this one. Mm -hmm. This yellow pack here. Uh, one to ten, it was more traditional chicken ramen, mm -hmm. but it was still better than the ones we have here. Right. So I would rate this one. She said about like a six, a five six. six right. yeah. yeah. So that was what you five four. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we tried this one, right? Mm -hmm. 
And this one tasted more real porky and garlicky. I like that one too. I yeah. Like so I'll give that one about a nine. I like yeah, it. this one was really good. If you like more of a thick base soup, um, the noodle was thick. Yeah, like Mama Bree bought an eight and a half, nine for sure. This one was pretty good. And then this one, mm -hmm. I really, really enjoyed this one. Like it was something about it. If I like, I really like oyster sauce, so mm -hmm. I would rate this one a nine. Right, me too. Yeah, I would want to eat these for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, this was our review on the Japanese ramen box. And I'm super excited. I'm so thankful that they reached out to me. Um, I'm really obsessed with this culture. If you if you know me personally, you know I'm obsessed with the Asian culture. Um, so this was right up my alley. And it was awesome. I'm happy Mama Bree did it with me because she's so scary to try different stuff. First of all, let me just address that scary thing. Okay. I'm not scary. I'm just cautious. You know, I take a lot of medications and being a, a a dialysis patient and having organ failure, I'm just very cautious what I put in my body, especially when I don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. I do believe that um, a lot of other cultures may eat a little cleaner than us, um, but I still have to be very, you know, very careful and mindful. So I'm not scared. I'm just cautious. Okay, well, she's cautious. Well, guys, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anything you want to tell them, Mama Bree? No, I just don't want you to be sick. That I'm trying to um, make it seem like Mama Bree's scary because Mama Bree is a straight G. Y'all know. <laughs> oh well, we love you, gang, 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 and we are out. Out. Bye bye.